Hi guys, you know, this news of ASAP Rocky being arrested at LAX um, today regarding uh, an alleged shooting which injured someone, not life-threatening, but injured someone back in November 2021 is now not surprising when you look on ASAP's background. Now, ASAP was born in Harlem and he, you know, in New York and his father was originally from Barbados and ASAP's father went to prison for um, selling, well, you know, drug related. And ASAP and his family were moving from place to place trying to, you know, find somewhere to live. They were in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for a while and he had a hard life. I mean, he actually went to Rikers Island on a drug related charge and constantly, you know, Toronto. ASAP is, is a video of him fighting outside of a club. New York, ASAP, you know, arrested in New York for fighting outside. Sweden, ASAP out there fighting with some fan who was falling too closely. And he was actually in Sweden um, convicted and charged and, and guilty. And with the help of President Donald Trump, he was flown back to the US. This guy, his last name, Rocky, seems to be some nickname close to Rocky Balboa because he seems to like to fight and you know when I think about a young man like this with a hard life like this I, I am you know sometimes you're tempted to feel sorry for them because you look at it and you know he's born in 88 so he's 33 going on 34 you're saying hey he had a hard life you know this he's just a product of the, the streets and the street culture the stupid street culture which is self-defeating and at 33 he hasn't figured out as yet that keep doing these stupid things you're going to get yourself into trouble now i i don't know if these allegations in los angeles are are accurate i don't know this would have to be tried by a judge or jury but the fact of the matter is that he is finding himself in hot water because someone pointed him out to say hey this guy fired a gun at me and one of these bullets hit me now assault with a deadly weapon is no joke and i can't believe that asap someone who's worth 10 million dollars would find himself in such a position now if these charges are true then he is behaving like some street thug who has te only ten dollars in his pocket and wh what do you expect and I i'm disappointed in rihanna that this is the type of person that she would choose to procreate with i'm honestly disappointed in it in her because rihanna with a billion dollars turn uh, i mean a billion dollars net worth could, like she should be doing much better than this like this guy has it seems like from all these fights that he's been having in these different places he seems to have an anger management problem and he doesn't seem to understand how to resolve these issues and if you know when you look at this and you see someone behave like this i don't know i saw this with bobby shamurda you know you see that with with kodak black that well, at least with Bobby Shimmer, he looks like he has turned a new page. But with Kodak Black and someone like the baby, they keep finding themselves in positions like this. And the thing is, within the street world, you know, they practice this stupid culture and stupid people applaud them. But they can't wake up to see that this is going to let them end up either in the grave or in jail. Or, or in the hospital they can't continue to live this way just constantly fighting constantly doing nonsense and i i won't lie it's it's disappointing when you see someone who could literally be enjoying themselves living a very comfortable life find themselves in these positions over and over i just think that i hope that a lot of young men are reflective on this to see that this street culture does not profit you it can't because if we live in a culture where everyone just settles you know beefs on the street then you'll have chaos all around and no one wants to live somewhere like this so we need laws we need a structure we need a system and if you're going to constantly act outside of the system outside of the laws where do you think you'll end up and so i think a lot of guys need to do this 
that self introspection to figure out that this culture this street stupid culture does not serve them and it does not serve society thanks guys